hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm back with another hair tutorial and today I'm gonna show you guys how I create the layered back part today I decided to go with a sewing instead of a wig because I really wanna rest my hair so this is gonna work for me as a protective hairstyle as well so first I'm gonna start off by braiding my hair back in some cornrows not too big and not too small at the same time because I don't want my hair looking too high when it's done and I use a curved needle because I find that much more easier to manage so what I do is that I poke the needle into my hair the braid and then I poke it into the weave attach the weave to the needle as well and I pull it through and I give it a knot by circling the thread around the needle once and pull it through and I do that process for every stitch I do and at the end of a row I knot the end and cut it for each row I cut and then start afresh with the with a new piece of weave for each row because in when you use when you do it that way you find it your hair ends up to be much flatter I continue that process until I reach the mid center of the back of my head and then I start the front because the front of your head is shorter than the back of your head so in order to get the closure in the middle of your head you will have to come up a little higher in the back than in the front also in the front I'm gonna put my rose a little bit closer than I did in the front because like I said I'm not going to have any leave out so if I don't want any of my chaps showing then I'm gonna need to do just that So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch row by row until I reach where the front is connected to the back and then I start stitching in circles until I reach about until I have a circle that is about two centimeters wide then I do a closure. Now to make a closure, you're gonna need a piece of hair about this long. I don't know how long this is, but you're gonna need a piece of hair about this length. Add the glue to the back of it, roll it up into a circle, a very tight circle. And then you add a glue to the back of it, on top of it, sorry. And then you stick it in the middle of your hair, open it to the center and brush it. Down. Try to comb it down as smooth as possible and you can also use your flat iron or curling iron or curling wand, whatever you have that could put heat on it, you use the heat to flatten it out. You can totally skip this step but I had to wrap my hair overnight because I really wanted my hair to be as laid as possible for the cut. Starting with the back, I'm going to divide the back of my hair into two equal parts and tie them in a pony ring around the same length. That way I could get an equal cut and I would also be able to cut my hair in a tapered 
manner at the back also by starting at the back it will give you a good foundation as to how to cut the front if you want a longer cut you can put the pony ring a little lower being that the pony ring works as a measurement as to how long or short to cut the back of your head but because I use 8 inch weave and I want my back to look almost shaved so I cut it this short Now to cut the front, you cut in a slanted motion from the back, come forward. That would give you a rough idea as to how your cut should be and then you could work from there and trim up whatever ends that needs to be trimmed. As you can see, I am parting my hair row by row to call them under at the back because that way you would be able to see the tapered look and the way of look to what we before. Then when you get to the front, you can call random parts. This hair took me about 4 to 5 hours to get done. The longest part to do was the sewing, but then after that, the cut and the style and everything else was a breeze. But in the end, I really did like my finished look. It really did end up coming out just as I was hoping it would. The only problem with this hair was that it wasn't as thick or as full as I would like. And that is because I use 8 inch weave. I use 2 packs of 8 inch weave and half pack of 10 inch weave. If I had used all 10 inch weave or maybe 12 inch weave, it would have come out a little thicker. But all in all, I really did like the finished product. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That way, you can be updated every time I post new and exciting videos. And until my next video, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.
hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a requested video if you have seen my last beauty haul I was wearing a gold and bronzish color eyeshadow over my eyes and I was asked to remake it so that you guys can see how I got it done so today I'm gonna do just that I'm gonna start off by priming my eyelids using my elf duo eyeshadow stick primer this helps to make my eyeshadow pops it also helps 